if the motor starts and runs and it doesn't have any damage from uh, losing oil when he rolled his truck over, he was either knocked out, knocked unconscious, or he just had his eyes closed. And um, he, when he woke up or when he kind of, or when he opened his eyes, the truck was still running. So he turned it off as quick as it could. So we're really hoping that the motor's not toast. Uh, so we're going to pop the hood here in just a minute and hook the uh, jumper box up to it and start charging the battery and see if, if it starts. But tell us what happened, Fred. Came around the corner too fast. Started to drift sideways down the road. Came too far and hit the mountain. Flipped over and landed on the bed first and then on its top. Thank heavens he was okay. That's At the end of the day, that's all that matters. So Rhett, when Rhett was upside down, he said he heard a noise that sounded like a rod knock, but I think it was just the fan hitting the radiator. We can see the fan is in the radiator. So we cut the fan belt. We had the battery charging for a few minutes. So we're gonna, and there's plenty of oil in the motor. So it didn't lose all its oil. So we're gonna see uh, how it sounds here. The plow truck is done and the plow truck pushes snow, so now it's time to get back on the shop. But I need to make sure that while I'm pushing snow in the plow truck that I don't have any of the exhaust coming back up under the cab, so I ordered a new exhaust tip. I'm sure if I thought long and hard enough, I could come up with a reason to complain about something. But truly, on a day like today, when pushing snow into a beautiful sunset, it's real easy to forget about everything. And sometimes pushing a little snow around, that's all the therapy I need. The new plow truck pushes snow and pushes snow very well. It's obvious I need a little bit more weight over the rear axles, but other than that, the truck's good to go. All of the fabrication and welding that was required on the front end of the truck is holding up so far 
and I feel confident that it will last for years to come. Back when I was a young man, I don't know how many times I got caught staring out the window daydreaming about something. I don't know how many sleepless nights I've given up to the same dream. But when I slow down and think about it, I'm pretty sure this is what I was dreaming about. Thank you for helping make this little boy's dreams come true. the plow truck yesterday for probably close to about two hours maybe even a little bit more than that and I had two big concerns the the first concern was do I have enough weight over the rear axle and I, I could stand to have a little bit more uh, somebody suggested putting one of the old four-wheelers uh, on the flatbed and I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the the old four-wheeler and strap it down and let it sit there for the rest of winter but the other question I had is, um, is it going to get warm? I put an aluminum radiator in that truck just so it wouldn't have heating problems with, uh, with the Cummins because the other truck that I had before this did have heating problems. Uh, if I was ever plowing up the road, I had to wash the temperatures in that truck. And I plow in four low. Um, and with this NV4500 transmission, the manual transmission, I was plowing in fourth gear yesterday and, and once I get up to fourth gear, it really sends the snow. And so um, we have a few days in between storms, um, but now I, I know that we're capable of whatever's gonna come at us, especially with the skid steer as backup. So um, there's still a few things that I wanna do to the truck. The truck has always been a little bit too fast. The fuel has been turned up a little bit on this truck. I think that's that might have been part of the reason why my son lost control and actually wrecked it between the manual transmission. Uh, you can spin those tires really easily and when he hit that black ice, my gut feeling is the truck uh, probably, uh, that's where he lost control. But, but anyway, the other concern I have with overfueling is that's where I'm gonna blow the motor up if I don't pay attention to the uh, exhaust gases, if I don't pay attention to the temperature of the motor. But the long story short is I ran it for two hours yesterday and it never even got warm. I ordered a set of generic gauges that's going to give me oil pressure and water temp. Those are the other two numbers that I want to watch. But I would have loved to have taken that drivetrain and, and put it in some old 50s Dodge or something like that. But what this is now is a dependable backup truck. So if I'm not using it uh, to plow, like in the summer times, I can use it for firewood. 
Um, I don't have to drive my newer truck as much. And if one of my kids, if my son Rhett or something needs a, a truck that can that can do a little bit of work, he's my kids would naturally be able to use the truck. So so far so good. I'm gonna have to paint it or something. I don't I don't like the paint scheme. I don't like the uh, that color. And it's already chipping off like the Dodge paint does. So if at some point I'll probably paint the truck, but. I only have about 1200 bucks tied up in the flatbed and by the time I got this truck on the road, from what I originally paid my son for the drivetrain, what I paid for the truck, what I paid for the plow, what I paid for all the parts, I probably have five or six thousand dollars tied up in this truck. But it's a regular cab, second gen Dodge Cummins with a manual transmission. I mean, it's the truck that everybody wants. And like I said, I don't mind driving the truck around. I actually enjoy driving the truck around. Um, I just hate the paint. So anyway, on our next video, I'm back to the shop. So um, we have already started making decisions on how we're gonna start framing up walls in there. So I still need to leave enough room that I can sneak the truck in the shop and throw those gauges in. There's still a couple other things that I wanna work on. Uh, the heater works now. I put a new blower motor in it. It works great. I do need to finish wiring up the uh, bed tank, the 50 gallon transfer tank that's in the bed. So when I do need to put fuel in the truck, I can actually do it. Right now I have, approximately you know 400 pounds worth of fuel in that bed tank but i don't have it plumbed into anything so i need to get that wiring finished so while i'm framing on the shop i'm going to sneak it in there and, and do a little bit of stuff here and there but i'm really looking forward to getting the the shop finished up because i have this three mile stretch of road that has to be plowed in order for my wife and kids to get to the places that they need to get to um, i wanted to build this very specific plow truck and my son by wrecking his old truck kind of helped in the process and it took a little bit longer than I, I wanted it to, but this truck pushing snow from our front yard right here all the way down to where we have to push it, it's over 700 feet drop in elevation. Then I turn around and I come back up that road. And so I needed a truck that had the ability, had the torque, had the horsepower to push the snow even on that, even on those nasty deep snow days. But it, but it also wasn't wearing the truck out at the same time. That red Ford plow truck that I had before this one, I worried that something significant was gonna happen either with the transmission or the engine. So this is about as heavy duty as it's gonna get in a light duty truck. So the next step up from here would be a medium duty truck. I even thought about getting a deuce and a half or something like that with a big old highway plow. But the bottom line is our road is too narrow for a big huge truck like that in the middle of winter. If I got that truck off an edge and that truck started to go down into the, the ditches, um, I don't know that we have the equipment to get a big truck like that out. So for that reason, it'll always be either a three quarter ton or a one ton truck. And like I said, I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. Thank you guys for hanging around and watching it. I know it took a little longer than, than it was supposed to, but.